Man, this, this park is really busy, huh? Uh oh, wait, it actually is pretty. Oh my. Oh, oh bro. So we're here at Knobles for our first time, or Nobles. I'm just gonna call it Nobles. I'm noticing with a bunch of Pennsylvania parks that it's like all picnic tables and a couple of good wooden coasters. That's like half of the Pennsylvania parks for you. We're adding the Impulse first, which I'm pretty excited about. Honestly, it looks pretty underrated. And that Ferris wheel's moving at like the speed of light. Change of plans, we're gonna go ride their three wooden coasters because they're all close together. We're gonna we're gonna do Phoenix first because apparently it's insane even though it looks fine. But we're excited. They're running it with one train with a full queue. I don't get it. Ending run of Airtime Hills, my hair is messy. Um, ending run of Airtime Hills with like pretty much no restraint is so much fun. I thought that it looked very overrated, but in real life that was that was a lot of fun. We're gonna ride flying turns next. I don't know if it broke down, but I kinda doubt that. They're running I think three or four trains on this, so good job. Just got off of flying turns. That was more fun than I thought it would be. I like just flying through all the support structure and stuff. It's odd how it has five, no, four lift hills, and the trains are pretty odd. Other than the ride system being cool, I would call that a very average ride. Now we're heading to the antique cars, which are over there somewhere. So this guy's looking pretty bad. Park closes in an hour and a half. We're gonna most likely skip the antique cars and then try and ride the two coasters we have in. I'm excited. This looks really good. The train goes under this. This is so cool. Weather doesn't look too good. But that ride is honestly like so good. It was a lot longer than I thought it would be. And also it felt it felt like legend, but a little tamer and a little shorter. We're heading over to Impulse now, somewhere over there. But I cannot get over how insane that ride was and how smooth it was. On some moments like the, the bottom of the first drop and stuff, it felt like it had Titan track. It was so good and it didn't even look like they just retracted it or anything. Yeah, that was amazing. So yeah, Impulse next. very forceful. It's very circular. That was a lot of fun. It's short, but it's like 
to, for me, that's like in the same league as the Chance Hyper GTX and Lightning Run. There should be a lot more of them in smaller parks. And also the trains are super, super comfortable. I love those trains. They're like probably top three trains for me. Amazing, and the restraints are really good and the shin guards don't really, don't really touch your shin, so I like that. We're doing one of our new favorite flat rides, the Whipper. That was a lot of fun. It's better than the one at Hershey, but not as good as the one at Kennywood. Kennywood's one is insane. That one's like, it's pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna head. I thought we had less time than we did. So we're gonna head back to where uh, Phoenix is and ride the antique cars and maybe Twister one more time. Gonna ride the antique cars. It's, it looks really cool because I think it goes through the structure of Phoenix. Twister, which is somewhere over there, and uh, ride that maybe like two or three times before the park closes, and I think it's like 6.30, so that'll be soon. Super excited for this. This is just like slightly smaller legend to me. I just got last ride of the night on Twister. I got to ride it twice, once in the front and once in the second to back. That is so much fun. It's it's really smooth and that kind of makes it feel a bit tamer, but it's pretty long and the, the helix like in the middle of the ride is so good. The one problem that I have with it is it doesn't have much airtime. It has like maybe one or two moments of airtime, but other than that, it's a really fun ride. I was the very last person in line that was completely by chance. I wasn't just waiting outside of the entrance. I just got off the ride and I went back in and then the guy uh, was closing the ride as I did that, so. Yeah, that was a very fun time at a park. There's two things that they could improve on for me. One, signage, both to get to the park and to get to the ride while you're in the park. It's pretty poor. And then two, I think that they could use, that this seems a little far-fetched, a small launched Vekoma suspended family coaster. That would fill so many gaps. They should do that. And pay me. But yeah, if you're ever in the area, you should definitely come here. It's cheap and they got good rides. But I'm gonna be honest, I highly doubt every anyone is ever in the area for this park.